This video is brought to you by iSkySoft Video Converter. With iSkySoft Video Converter, you can easily convert all of your favorite movies or audio files to any audio or video file you'd like. There's multiple types. There's MOV, MKV, AVI, whatever you need, this will convert for you. You can even string multiple videos together and convert them. Select the folder you want and hit convert. I'll leave a link to them in the description below and it's available with a free trial on Windows and Mac. Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and today Apple released iOS 11 beta 5. This is available for developers and usually within a day or so the public beta will be available. This one came in at 334.7 megabytes on my iPhone 7 Plus and let's take a look at the build number. The build number is 15A5341F and the reason we look at the build number is to help us differentiate not only between different versions or previous versions, but the developer and public betas. So sometimes they're not the same, most of the time they are, but uh, we just want to know which one is which, and that lets us know. Now, on this beta, there is a lot of changes that you can't see and some that you can see. The ones that you can't see have to do with fixes to little things all over the place, such as photos, camera, settings, music, all sorts of things. There are 124 resolved issues in many different categories. However, there's still 67 known bugs. This is according to the developer notes. So 67 known bugs still exist, and every time they fix something, something else breaks. So that's just something to keep noted. Now, the first thing in this is they removed messages in iCloud. So when we went into settings, under here we had iCloud and we had iCloud messages and those messages are actually gone. It disappeared the first time I went into here. The actual menu went away. So under messages, it's just not there anymore. And that's something they're going to be bringing back to be able to manage individually in a later update, they've said. So that's not there anymore. Now, some of the things they've changed that you can physically see are a couple of the icons. The settings icon is a little bit darker and I have iOS 10 running here just so you can see it. Let me show you side by side. iOS 10 is on the right, iOS 11 is on the left. You'll see the settings icons a little bit darker. The same is true for the camera icon. They've changed this where they removed the lines. You'll see the lines in iOS 10. They removed them in the newest version of iOS 11 and the lines just aren't there. Nothing huge, it's just a little tweak. And they keep tweaking some of these icons over time. Last time they tweaked reminders and notes, now they've tweaked those icons. Now speaking of the camera app, within the settings, there are some new settings for cameras. And if we go into camera, uh, we have different things for formats. So formats, we have high efficiency and most compatible that allows you to not use H.265, but lets you use what you were previously using. We also have an option in camera if we go in here and we go into photos and we hold it, let's turn it horizontally, and then we hold it up and down, you now have a little level icon. So if we put this here, it lets you know that you're level. Now it only does this when it senses that it's held kind of looking down at the ground and it lets you level what you've got. And this only works if the grid is turned on. So if you have grid on and you'll see it just disappeared, if you have grid on it, appears and it's something that's really helpful to use. There's some new toggles for background app refresh. If we go into settings and in settings, we go to general within general, we have background app refresh. We'll go down to, or we'll go here. And now we have a toggle for Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi and cellular data. So those are new and it's something that they've added here as well. Now there's also a couple new splash screens that appear when you're doing things such as going into the health app. So if I go into here, We'll go to here. When you first open health on this device, this is what you get now. So you've got, uh, do you want to, you do you want to help Apple improve health and fitness features by sharing your activity, workout and limited health related data and allow, learn more, don't, don't allow. That's all included in this particular update. We also have a new one when we go into portrait mode for the first time and it gives you the portrait camera. It says create a portrait with depth of field effects. It just tells you what it is. I don't know that it's necessary, but some people may not know it's there. So they've added that. Now, if we go back into settings, there's a change with SOS. If we go into emergency SOS, we've got a new little icon and animation here that shows us what SOS is. And it allows us to call our emergency contact by hitting the home button five times. Once we've done that, uh, it will call that individual and let them know that you have an issue and you're in distress. So that's a nice little feature there as well. There's also a new graphic for access the dock from anywhere splash screen, but that's only on the iPad. When you boot up, it lets you know about the dock a little bit more. Now there's a new dial tone for FaceTime. So if I'm going to FaceTime someone, let's try that. If I dial someone using FaceTime, the sound is different. 
So if I bring this up here, hopefully you can hear it. There's long pauses between the time it rings. And we'll end that. So we have that new FaceTime sound. It also works with FaceTime audio calls. You get the same exact tone. Now, if we go into control center, we have this little icon. As long as you're on a home network that has airplay available, you have this little icon here and I was playing the verge and these icons have changed and been tweaked a little bit. We can hit this. We've got different options and it just looks a little bit different than it did before. They keep tweaking things around the user interface that uh, seem to change over time. And that's typically how this happens. They'll change little icons, they'll change them back. And that's why I don't cover every little change because many times these things change. For example, this icon's a little bit larger than the last one. Uh, it's just not something that, you know, is really finalized. And so I don't cover every tiny little change. And some of you asked me about that, but one of the other changes they've done, if we go into audio and we go to artists, this icon appears to be a little bit different. So if you have an unknown artist, the icon will look slightly different than it did before. As you see here, this is iOS 10, that's iOS 11, and this looks different than it did in the previous version. Another thing is some of these animations seem to be a little bit smoother, uh, animations in general, although there are a little bit of choppiness or frame rate drops here and there that I've noticed things do seem to be a little bit smoother. If I go into this I app here, you'll notice, watch where it says news. It takes a second to appear. It's a little bit new animation, but things do in general seem a little bit smoother and just nicer overall. Now there are little tweaks here and there all over the place. And like I said, I'm not going to mention every tiny little one, but those are the major changes. But I wanted to show you the geek bench as well, since I like to show you that every time. So I took a little photo of it here. If we go back, this is iOS 11 beta four. You'll see the score here. Beta five improves on it a little bit. And 3502 or 3502 for single core versus 3397, 5737 versus 5948. So it is a little bit faster and that generally happens over time with these betas. It gets a little bit faster and a little bit faster and it just, generally works better. So that's pretty much it for iOS 11 beta five. If you've found something major though, that I've missed, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like, be sure to check the description for this wallpaper and link to iSkySoft there as well to check out the video converter as well. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.